At the McKinsey Innovation Practice, we're super passionate about two things. You know, first, helping clients to actually achieve innovation impact, and secondly, to help them develop innovation capabilities, um, make them better innovators. I think this session gave clients an opportunity to, to really learn how to do innovation um, and pulling them out of their, their home environment, putting them to an environment with lots of stimulus, lots of immersion, lots of experts, lots of structure and tools, and colleagues from other companies across industries created a, a, a laboratory for learning. Um, and I think the clients that were here really picked up on a lot of great tools to apply at home. We got started very quickly. There was a, there was a, a very rapid tempo to the uh, to the two and a half days, and I think that's important because in too many offsites or conferences or summits, you're a passive participant. So being an active participant, I really think for me was key. I think the value of this kind of process is, is that it's a different way of of, um, of thinking and working. It allows you to be a lot more innovative than just using benchmarks or just using, using you know comparisons in your in your job and actually coming up with like real innovative strategies as opposed to you know innovative products. Well, I think there was a, definitely really good insights of the senior consultants that really helped to have a big picture idea on how innovation process flows in the real world. And I think something really interesting is that during the workshop, really, you have the opportunity to interview and interact with real consumers, and that adds a lot of value in order to really have a workshop where you are actually executing as in real life. I think the, the big thing for me is the proof of concept. You know, I, I believe more now than ever that uh, having not only interdisciplinary but cross-company training uh, unlocks a huge amount of potential and to this point it was something that we thought about that we thought could be interesting but you know I'm really confident that this is going to be high value for our clients. I think it's a, a extremely great way to engage your clients. I don't think people expect this from us. They don't expect, they don't expect us to use brainstorming techniques. They don't expect us to use drawings. They don't expect us to be in a space or a chair like this. So it's kind of like multiple ways I think it's very beneficial. The environment was conducive to sort of a creative style of collaboration and the fact that real consumers were on hand to actually come in and, and work with us. That was great. I think that's a really neat quality that you brought together here is a disparate group of people, uh, backgrounds and specialties, industries, and we're all working together uh, in, in this sort of uh, brainstorm creative environment. What I really liked about the training was, once again, kind of the, the collaborative nature and also the really sharing that approach of, look, you, we need, you need creativity and everyone has some creativity, but you also need a process to structure the creativity and let's kind of walk through a process and show how that process can be creative. Because anyone can say, oh, well, we're going to generate a process for you that's going to help you be creative. but let's walk you through a generic example. Let's step you outside, put you in a situation, and say, what would you do? How would this process really work? Um, and then, you know, how would that apply to you? And I think that's really valuable, both for me to do myself, but then also to see clients do and see how they, they go through that process. I loved, a, I loved the approachability of it, actually. There was no, um, I didn't feel nervous. I felt welcomed. Um, everyone was so friendly and the comfort level was, was really high and I think that that's one of the biggest aspects in innovation. People kind of regard the way they present ideas and think about things and hold things back. But uh, the openness of this was, was really rad and I, and I liked the way um, everyone interacted with each other. And um, you know, I thought it was, it was really inspiring to hear everyone bring up their ideas and, and reflect on each other's ideas. and. Uh, the debriefing and talking about what happened previously was a great way to reflect on what you had the project or the, the uh, experiment you had just gone through. We've really tried to set up the idea of an ambidextrous approach to innovation 
um, being a really effective one and called out those differences and walked our, our teams through that experience over the two and a half days, alternating um, between one and the other in a pretty seamless way, trying to bring to light the power of a joint approach. So I think I want clients to learn that innovation is not as hard as and scary as we think it is. Um, my personal goals from this were for clients to take home real tactical tools that they're excited about applying to their business. Maybe not all of them, maybe not the entire process, but leaving with an aha, a real insight around how to make innovation happen in their organization and feeling confidence that they actually have real tactical tools to take home and actually do that and get it done.